Hey everyone, so I am back with another tutorial and I just soaked my nails off so I still have to cut them down and file them down so yeah I'm sure I'm still not sure what I want to do to my nails yeah so I still don't know what I want to do to my nails but first thing I'm gonna do is just cut all my nails down And I don't usually take my sets off this often. I usually leave them on for quite a while. But I broke my ring finger really bad the other day. And I'll leave a, a picture for y'all to see because it was so bad. Like, I almost cried that day. I'm using this nail file um, I get these from my local nail supply store but I will link leave a link below to some that I found online which are I think they're the same kind so I'll leave that link below so I'm just following all my nails down And then I am using my new drill that I got on eBay. And I'm using this 180 sanding bit. So I'm going to turn it all the way down. And I'm just going to remove that shine from my nail. Alrighty, so now I'm going to apply my nail tips. And I'll leave the link below to these as well. So... I'm going to just size and glue my nails on. Just want to, I got my tip. You just want to apply that glue to the tip. I hold my finger like this and just hold it down until it dries. Make sure it's straight. And there we go. And remember, if one tip is too small and one's too big, always go with the one that's bigger because you can always follow it down. Because if you do the one that's too small, your nails will crack. Yes. Yeah, I wish I could leave my nails this long, but doing all these nails, like, I just can't. I can't. I'm thinking about maybe doing a red, like a matte red or a matte burgundy. Maybe like my lipstick, like a burgundy. So I'm gonna go over and do my other hand and then I'll be back. See, I feel so, like so ghetto. Like I'll be back. Peace. Yeah. Alrighty, so I am back and all my tips are on. So now I am going to just cut them down and I am using my little um, tip cutter and let me see I think I want them about right there and this really might be a little too long for me So I am going to do a coffin and I'm not going to cut the edges like I usually do because I kind of like my, I don't like my coffins as narrow. So I'm just going to file the sides and as you can see I'm doing my file at like an angle to where I'm not filing too much right there. I kind of just focus on the tip. And you just want to alternate from side to side because you don't want one side you know, being too, um, how do you say it? You basically don't want your nails to be crooked, so you just want to alternate from side to side. Hey, girl. I just had to stop recording my video because one of my clients brought me, like, all of this. I was like, oh, my God. Like, y'all, this is, like, a blessing. Like, y'all, like, I can't, like, uh, I'm about to cry. <laughs> like, look, and it's all SC. Well, like, most of it, like, y'all, I'm about to cry. Like, look at all this. 
Hey, Tiger Bear. Hey, ma'am. Liam. Alrighty, so I shaped this hand, if you can see. I shaped this one. So now I'm gonna do this hand. My nails are so long, like I couldn't even tap the record button. Like that's how long they are. Like this might be short to some people, but like to me, like this is long. And like look at that flawless shape. Yes, honey. Okay, so I shaped all my nails. I'm just gonna dust them off. And I am using my Bond X acrylic bonding agent. If you can see, why is it not focusing? Well, it's by OPI, and I'll leave the link below. So I'm just gonna apply this on my natural nail, and this is just to make sure that that acrylic stays on and it prevents lifting and all that jazz. So I am using my Mia Secret acrylic and if I can get to it. Let's see. Here we go. I'm using my Mia Secret pink acrylic powder and I'm just gonna refill this up because it's pretty low. And then I'm also using my Mia Secret um, liquid. Liquid. So, we're going to get started. If I can get comfortable. Dip a brush in your liquid. And you want to wipe it off like halfway to where it's wet but not dripping. And then you dip it into your powder. Get a pretty side bead. Pretty nice. And I like to start in the middle. So, I place my bead right in the middle wherever the... Um, my nail and the nail tip start. I pat it down and then I start brushing down. And remember, you don't want to brush down too hard because you would just take that acrylic off. So I'm gonna do my second bead and I'm gonna do it behind that first one. So closer to my cuticle area, pat her down and brush down and make sure like that one's running over to my cuticle so you want to make sure you get that off your cuticles before it dry and brush it down okay so i'm gonna do another one at the tip because it's pretty thin if you can see it you can't really see it but it's pretty thin so i'm gonna do another bead at the tip and brush it down Alrighty, so i had to give you guys a better view so Dip my brush, wipe it off, dip it in, and put it down. Egg. <laughs> so you want to put it in the middle of the nail, pat it, and then you want to start brushing down. And you have to work fast because depending on what acrylic system you're using, a lot of them dry super fast and place it right behind that first one. Pat it down and brush down. Remember, get them cuticles really, really good because you don't want any lifting. Alrighty, so I am done with my full set where I'm done doing my acrylic. So next I'm just gonna file or reshape and then we're gonna file the whole nail. So just doing the same thing I did whenever I filed them or shaped them in the first place. So they are reshaped. So I'm gonna do my other hand. There we 
go. So now I am using this. I think it's like a medium coarse nail bit. I'll link the link below. I can't remember which grid it is, but I'm just gonna pile on my nails and we'll take it from there. So one of the most important things is you want to get really close to that cuticle area because if you don't, that's where your lifting causes or happens. So you want to get all that back there and you just want to kind of go in a stretch or not, I don't even know how to say it, but you just want to kind of move your drill all the way around. And if you're using a hand file instead of a drill, you just want to make sure you do the same thing. Kind of go in a circle, start from the sides, and then work your way around. And you want to make sure there's no gap in the back because water will get under there and will cause lifting. And when lifting happens and water gets under there, that's what causes the little greenies. Alrighty, so I filed, filed down all my nails. Now I'm just going to go in and buff them with this little buffing block. And I got this on eBay and I'll leave the link in the description. So all you want to do is just grab your buffer and just buff away. I'm going to do some cuticle oil and then I'm going to go wash my hands. So I am back and it is time for the polish application. So I think I'm going to do this red La Palme gel polish and the name of it is Dragon Fire. And I really do not know what I want to do so I think I'm just going to do some rhinestones on my pinky and then do the rest just red. So I am using this color club, um, there's the name of it, and I'm just using that for my rhinestones. Alrighty, so now I'm going to be doing my rhinestones and I'm using my big Bondini brush on nail glue and I'm using my wax pencil and then my rhinestones. So I'm applying my glue all over the nail and then I'm going to start off with a smaller or sorry with a bigger rhinestone.
So for my top coat, I'm using this Elite 99 Matte Top Coat. Alrighty, so this is my final look. I just took them out the light and I'm going to wipe it off because this matte top coat does leave like a sticky um, layer which is called an inhibition, inhibition layer. So I'm going to wipe that off and ta -da. yeah it's so pretty. Like, I've been wanting to do this forever. It's so pretty. Those rhinestones, though. Yes, baby. Well, I'm going to do the other hand, and I will be back. Alrighty, so I polished my other hand, and now I'm going to do my rhinestones. So, same thing. I'm going to apply the glue all over the nail. And saying, I'm just gonna start applying my rhinestones. And I'm gonna alternate from size to size. And I am using the SS6, which is the small one, and SS12, which is the bigger one. Hey guys so I am done and they turned out super pretty like just look at this look at that. so pretty so don't forget to like share and subscribe and tag your mom your dad your granny your uncle your cousin tag whoever because remember I have a giveaway coming soon once I hit a thousand subscribers so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos sorry booger I don't think so. But yeah, guys, so don't y'all just love them? Like, this video don't even do no justice. Like, they're so pretty. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.